look straight. Yeah. What's the big pole in the middle for, Great Chief? That pole is the center point for the Sundance and symbolizes the center of the ceremony, too. Oh. Isn't the ceremony supposed to be held later in the year? Yes, that's right. But our great I council so. decided to anticipate it this year in honor of your visit. This ceremony is a great spiritual consecration. Let's go. Do all the tribes take part? Many warriors take part in the ceremony, and many others watch. It's our custom. Those who will accompany you will be chosen from among the best performers of the Sundance. How is the ceremonial site chosen? Every year, we choose a suitable site that is close to the water and offers plenty of game. After the site is chosen, messengers are sent to all the tribes and a crossbeam is set up next to the center pole, the symbol of our medicine. Keep pulling until they free themselves. Our warriors are used to it. Make them stop. It's horrible. It's disgusting. Oh, it's a nightmare. Oh. 
I understand why it made you cry, but tests like that are what make our warriors so brave. It's over now. Really? We're sorry you're leaving, but we know you can't stay longer. These are the warriors who will join your escort. Blackmoor, Sue. Brave Bear, he's a Kiowa. Sound of Silence you already know. Brave Eagle, a Blackfoot, and Small Pine, an Arapaho. I'm happy you're coming with us. You're such brave warriors. be able to come back one day to visit the Sioux people again. May the Great Spirit protect you. May he also protect you, Pocahontas. We will look forward to seeing you again. Thank you for your hospitality. I could be wrong, but aren't we heading for your ancestral lands, Hoppy Hole? Yes, the Hopi territory lies in this direction. That's where my family lives. You must be very excited at the thought of seeing them again. It's been many moons since you left your village. I'm also very concerned, Pocahontas. A great battle awaits us. Every day that passes brings us closer to the battle, and we will win. The problem is they have difficulty relating to horseback riding. We'll have to do something or, or we'll, we'll lose, lose too much, much time. time. If we divert southwest, we could continue in canoes. What will we do with the horses? Don't worry, I'll take the horses with Red Owl and meet up with you in the Great Valley. That's the solution, Mock. But let's hope the Eskimos don't get the idea they're letting us down. No, we'll tell the others that I'm tired and want to continue by canoe. That's it then. Sounds good to me. 
Goodbye! See you in the Great Valley! Everything will be fine, Ma! Thinking about Pocahontas? I was just wondering if Mock and Red Owl are going to arrive on time. Tomorrow we'll reach Red Rock Valley. That's where my people's sacred lands begin. Do you know whose territory we're in now? Yes, we're still in the sacred lands of the Navajo. Will all the tribes be waiting for us? Of course, but they will not only be friends. Our oh. enemies, too, will be waiting for us. They can wait as much as they like. They don't scare us. The most important thing is to face the enemy with determination. Ours is a just cause. We will triumph in the end. He's offering a prayer to the Great Spirit. Well, he's, he's chosen a good time to pray. Oh, great spirit, we, your children, are at one with the earth. May victory be ours. Mark's the one who deserves the credit. Uh, I'm so glad to see you, Mark. I was worried about you. I was so impatient to see you again. I thought about you every step of the way. Oh, no, you're exaggerating. Did you have enough to eat? Not really. My stomach was <laughs> rumbling so loud, Red Owl said it scared the horses. <laughs> Hey, I like this place. What a beautiful valley. We call this place the cradle of our people. Since this valley is so beautiful, we should take a day or two to explore it. No, please, give me something to eat first or I'll die. <laughs> <laughs> we'll all go eat rabbit. How's that sound? Hey, I'll do a dance to rabbit anytime. <laughs> Pocahontas, they've all gathered to welcome us. The Navajo, the Apache, the Zunis, and many other peoples. I welcome you in the name of the Navajo. I am very moved by the warmth of your welcome. I am Jodorava, chief of the Navajo. I have been appointed by all the tribes to receive you. I offer my thanks to all of you, great chief. We are impatient to hear your message. Those are Hogan's, aren't they? Only the Navajo build their huts like that. Yes, you're absolutely right, Pocahontas. 
Make yourselves at home. I guess you want to rest up after your long journey. Thank you, Great Chief. After you've spoken to us, we've planned a big celebration. I am overwhelmed and very honored. Is your village very far from here? No, it's just over there. On the other side of those cliffs at the end of the valley. I'd like to go visit my family, but it's more important to continue our mission. My brothers, we've had a long, hard journey to get here, and we're proud and happy to see so many of you gathered here today under the protection of the Great Spirit. We have delivered our message of peace everywhere we've been, so that the universe can be Hotsro, as the Navajo say, living in harmony. Yeah! Yeah! Each region of the world depends on all the other regions. Life is a huge circle that we all belong to. <sighs> No, stop! There are only three of them. Oh. Oh. Stand back, Pocahontas! We're waiting for you. You know where and when to find us. No, Mark, let them go! You're very familiar with this territory, right, Apiho? So you must know who those three warriors were. Yes. Once upon a time, many, many years ago, the four different clans of the Hopi used to be migratory people. Each clan set out in a different direction. Each direction was decided by the arms of this cross. One clan went east, another went north, another went west, and another went south, and the Great Spirit gave magical powers to each of them. After every migration, it was understood that all the clans would return to the point of departure. But one year, one clan remained in the south. The Great Spirit was so angry, he decided to punish the rebels. He arranged for the Spider Woman to be born. She was very beautiful, and she showed up in the tribe that migrated to the far north, where thick snow and ice made the mountains inaccessible. The Hopi were on their last legs, and so she appealed to their discontent, urging them to use their magic powers to melt the ice. She produced a flute and ordered them to play on it to summon a wind from the equator. Then she went to the clan of the sun and urged them to pray so that the sun would melt the ice on the mountains. Then she went to the Snake Clan and convinced them to generate a typhoon that would blow the ice I off the mountains. I will open a passage for you through the frozen mountains! <laughs> I challenge you, Great Spirit! I am stronger than nature! The Great Spirit came down to see what was going on. The Spider Woman cringed before the illuminated gaze of the great Manitou. Kokan Vuti, I will chastise you! You dare to defy my will! If these frozen mountains melt, they will flood the earth! You have yielded to your pride and you will be punished! You will pay dearly for your impertinence! I will reclaim your youth and beauty! And your clan will be banished for supporting your foolish ambition! Out of my sight! Your clan will be plagued by bad luck from now on. The clan of the Spider Woman moved south beyond Palaktkwapi, the mysterious Red City. I thought those southern lands were uninhabited. No, they're full of natural resources, and the Hopi built a city there with the help of the Kashina. The Bear Clan, the Coyote Clan, and the Parrot Clan went to live there and built a high wall around it. The largest building was used for ceremonies and was built in the shape of a pyramid. The fourth floor was open to the sky and reserved for initiates. The city grew and prospered until the forces of evil showed up. The Spider Woman decided to force her way into the city. <laughs> oh. 
The Spider Woman's warriors fired blazing arrows, setting the city on fire. The inhabitants were forced to seek refuge in the ceremonial building. I know there's a tunnel from the ceremonial building to the river. Go occupy the riverbank and cut off their escape. Yes. The chiefs of the different clans gathered on the top floor of the building to pray for guidance. Chief, the Spider Woman sent her men to occupy the riverbank. <sighs> Drive the enemy back. Tell all the clans to file quickly through the tunnel and take a position on the riverbank, ready to defend it to the death. As for us, we will stay behind in the city. When the Spider Woman enters this building, she will fall into a trap. That's how the Spider Woman's attack on the city was defeated. And the other clans were able to continue their migrations. And today? What, what about this? now? The Spider Woman wants to destroy us because we teach togetherness. But we know how to defend ourselves. 